morning, Corey. Welcome to the product buzz. Good morning, Lacey. How are you? I'm, really, I'm doing really good. I'm really excited to be here and just kind of talk about my experiences with all the different gadgets. And, you know, after having conversations with you, I think I might need like a some professional help. Um, I, I, I did go through quite a few of them to pick out my favorites, but, um, okay. I would just really wanted to start off with how this gadget and product addiction started. And, uh, as you know, it started with our dad by far. We, we had this discussion. It's basically a genetic thing. <laughs> buying things. Very much so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My first gadget, the first gadget he bought me was a pimple zapper that shot electricity through the pimple. I remember and it this would, thing. What was it called? I forgot what it was called, but it would shock your face and it would make your face spasm. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know what was worse, taking an electric shock through the face or having pimples. I think I would have just dealt with the pimples. I'm not sure either, but if it works, it works. So zap, zap away. But if it doesn't work, you kind of sit back and you're like, why did I spend $300 on this machine? And that's, that's kind of like where it's, it's a joke, but it's not a joke because the way they advertise is like, this is going to clear your skin and here's a zapper that's going to take away your acne and it doesn't. So it's kind of, it's kind of to me, like really, well, first of all, it's first false advertisement and it's just horrible to do that to people. So that's why um, when we had our conversation the other night, I was like, oh, you have to come on the show and explain your experiences with your gadgets because it's absolutely priceless. And we would love to hear your story. And I, I, I'm just dying to hear what other gadgets you have got since then. <laughs> I, I, man, I have had so many crazy gadgets and I still do. I, I have a whole closet dedicated to gadgets. Um, I've had some of, you know, the, the butt toners where you pinch them in between your legs. Okay. That's why I'm, I'm smiling so much. Cause that's the one I'm thinking of the one that you put in between your legs and you pinch your butt cheeks. <laughs> I think you're the only person that's seen me doing that exercise. I don't think I'm brave enough to do that in front of anybody else. Oh my God. I'm trying not to cry right about now because when I pulled that out of the closet, I'm like, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, squats work, mama. <laughs> they do. They do. And um, people come up with devices that, you know, modify that you can do at home. And I was very curious. Did it work for you? My my problem is I want instant gratification from my gadgets, so I use them for a week or two, and I don't really dedicate my time to how they're supposed to be. Um, like th this this fat melter here is a prime example of it. You know, this is supposed okay. to you know. I know we've all <laughs> seen this gadget. We've all seen this gadget. It co it basically you put it on your body and it melts the fat underneath your skin. Have you seen any results? Are you just being um, fair to the company saying that you're not consistent enough to know the results? Uh, so I've, I've recently gotten consistent with it. Um, I have noticed some toning with my skin. So it kind of seems like my, my stomach's um, skin is tighter. Um, but now I'm about two weeks of using this dedicated and uh, it's, it, it's also a fun process because it gives you a little bit of EMS. So you're, you're getting a little bit of that, that little tingle and uh so it's actually a pretty neat product i will let you know how it goes okay. i should have taken a picture um very interesting to know now now we have to know the name of the product because we might go out and buy it <laughs> oh because uh, i was informed by a plastic surgeon the only way to tighten skin was through surgery so you're saying it's starting to tone the skin so maybe i i wonder and what it might be. It might just be me personally, maybe. You, and so that's another thing you've got to take in consideration. Everybody's body acts different. You know, if you're hydrated, you're not hydrated. One day you're taking care of yourself. The next day you're not. Hydration so is those, another show. <laughs> oh, hi, yeah. Hydration. I, I think I've heard you talk about hydration more than I could ever imagine. Well, that that is definitely another show of ours because we have a product coming out. LA hydration. Yes. So we can't wait yes. to release that. So quit dropping it early. Okay. I, I will stick, I will stick leave to that your gadgets. 
Um, but yes, uh, so something that I recently tried, I was kind of going through, this is, this is one of the products that I, it's called Lux. And what it does is it's, it gives you, it's supposed to be free. So I'm all about being natural because of my job. I work out in the heat. I can't have makeup on. So what is is your occupation? If you don't mind sharing. I'm a a consultant for Exxon mobile on mega projects. Um, so I travel badass. (laughs) I travel the United States and I go to projects like building dry docks for the Navy. Currently I'm doing some Exxon mobile work. So it's a, uh, it's definitely a very busy lifestyle. I, most days I work 12 hour days. So it's really hard for me to fit in a beauty regimen and um, putting on makeup is probably one of my, the least things I do. So I'm always looking for that little product that I can just wake up in the morning and I can just put it on and go. Absolutely. So I, totally understandable. Let's talk about Lux. This, I was so excited about this. I saw so many infomercials on it and what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to curl your eyelashes to give you that natural, like you have false eyelash look on. Okay. And I, And I tried it twice. I was so ready for this one to work. I tried it twice and I didn't, and it was really strange when I put the pads on, I couldn't get them to stick to my eyelids. Right. And I just had all of the issues with these products, but it never, it never worked for me. First of all, this sounds a little dangerous messing with your eyes with that kind of product that really definitely involves a professional. And I don't think that they should advertise that product to people using it at home because these are your eyes. And this is like a very, one of the most sensitive parts on your body is your eyelids and your eye. And I would know because I've had false eyelashes and had allergic reaction and swelled shut (laughs) as you remember that. And um, so I don't think that that's really a good thing for people to do at home, in my personal opinion. But what do you, what were your results? What did you get? I, it didn't do anything. I didn't notice any lift, nothing, my eyelashes. And now uh, the very tips of my eyelashes are extremely blonde. So I did try to go back and buy their, their tent kit, but if for some reason it's no longer online. Um, so that was kind of concerning mm-hmm. for me too. I'm like, I wonder why. Uh-oh. <laughs> so maybe, so that, maybe it doesn't work. Uh, maybe it works for it, some people. Maybe it we don't know. Right? Exactly. And so that's the biggest thing as being, being able to know if, you know, if this is the product for you or not, but, right. um, this has been my new favorite product. It's called wonder skin and it's a lip stain. I don't have it on now because I'm doing the whole natural. You got to show us. <laughs> so, okay, let's see if I can. So it's really cool. So you put on this, it's going to look crazy at first. Let's see if I can do it on my phone. Or So you put on wow, this. That's a very nice color. Wait, 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 wait. No. And then I'm. I think purple sure is so your color, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so then you take this spray and it's an activator and you spray it on there. And I just sprayed my glasses. That's great. And then you rub it off and it gives you, oh man, now I can't see through my glasses. Hold on. So that was my only problem with this product. Basically, when you first had this issue with this product, you called me and you had your (laughs) makeup all done and you put it Mm -hmm. on and you sprayed that spray and it took it all off. Yes, I had to redo all of my eye makeup. So this is one of those things. It's a great product. This is another another thing that happened. Don't wear glasses and don't wear makeup while applying, right? Right. Um, Or you might need a face shield because when you go to spray it, it just goes (laughs) everywhere. So it's a great, wonderful way to keep lips uh, like a lint. uh, Oh, I see. I see the the light tint of pink. Yeah, right. Very, very nice. it is, it's an awesome product and it stays on all day long, but make sure you, do I have any more purple in there? No, maybe in the corner a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. So, it's a really awesome product, um, but just make sure you put it on before you get all your eye makeup and all of that fun so, stuff. So basically when you put it on, make sure you have a clean face with no glasses, no makeup, and then peel it off first. <laughs> Because yes. when I watch the TikTok videos where they, they peel off that in the last sector where they have the eyebrows and the lips, 
and then they take it off and they have this beautiful makeup. But so the lips, that, I mean, is, your lips are step one, right? Yes. Just the stain part, you know, so, just do the stain part before you put anything else now on. We have to add the glasses to the, to, to it as well. <laughs> yes. Yes. No glasses, no makeup, but, okay. um, but it works no, but and you love it. It works. I absolutely love it. Like I, and it's like one of the only things that I put on, I put on the wonder skin just so my lips have that look like lips. They, you know, instead of being white and pale, they have like a natural tone to them. They do have a ton of other colors. They have, you know, reds and all of these really vibrant colors, but I went for more of a natural look, but I, ever since I've got it, I've used it every day and I don't put on makeup. So it's That's like one of those go-to products that I definitely recommend. It awesome. is awesome. I think yeah. I'm going to go pick, I'm going to go buy some now. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, so then, so I, I brought mainly, I focused on my beauty products because that's what I have here in this house. Um, but, uh, next time I'd like to show all of my weight loss gadgets, but, um, so I, I did wanted to share this one too, this, um, it's a L'Oreal product. It's a eight second wonder. Okay. And you put, you put it in your hair for eight seconds. Does it, and the shower, the, and does it make you wonder? It makes you kind of warm and tingly, which is kind of weird. It does. It gets hot. It's it's a it's crazy. It's eight seconds and rinse it out, and your hair. It, and and I'm all about product because of the length of my hair. I'm all about products that are easy to put in, just rinse and go. But it once a week, and it shine boost, and it really does a number on your hair. And sorry, my hair is not what I wanted it to be. Don't apologize. Um, when you showed me your hair and what that product does, I had to post it on my social media. It's absolutely gorgeous. I know we come from the same gene pool, but I wasn't blessed with the same hair. I don't know why, but you have the most fullest and beautiful hair shiny that I've ever seen, but you have these products that you always recommend to me. And I'm like, okay. And I try them out and I, I actually fall in love with them as well. There's a, um, the skin exfoliator. That one oh, is really nice. I'm gonna, can I run upstairs and grab that no, one real quick? You don't have to, you can just explain it. It's, it's okay. No, yes. That one, that one is getting that, seeing all that dead skin come off. I'm like, that's insane. Isn't it? Like, uh, especially uh, like a- we're both getting closer to, we're both basically 40. So I know. isn't that scary? It's not scary. I'm proud. I am too. I'm proud. I, I, me too. Like we, it's, I mean, even it's the, all good. Yeah, no, we, uh, it, but it's because we have taken the taking care of ourselves and, and little things like this just really make, make the day easier and make it, you know, make it, make it better. There was the egg one you had in your shower. And when I put it on my face, I could feel the skin that just rolling right off and just smoothing the top layer. And when I come out, it's all <laughs> shiny and beautiful. I'm like, this at 40 like 11 like, yes it know. is that is um, an amazing amazing product that one was from japan um which was really cool I can't, I, I can't find it on amazon or anywhere because i have looked trust me so there is another product that's similar to theirs and that's what i had to revert to because i haven't been able to find that one either but that one was really good yeah it wasn't and bad then, no, and so when I originally got that product, I got that and a um, a teeth whitener, and it um, yeah, did it make a um, It did. Um, it was you know the where they put it, they swirled the toothbrush in the water and it turned the tobacco water clear. Have you seen that one? Okay. It, it was a peroxide based um, toothpaste. Do you know, I and just it was put peroxide in my water pick, and <laughs> it works great. You know, just buy some peroxide, peroxide and water in the water pick and it makes <laughs> your teeth perfectly. Um, but I wouldn't suggest just putting straight peroxide. That's any dentist no, is probably it, cringing right about now. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. No. And if you swallow peroxide, it will make you throw up. So be careful. OK, no, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Um, the next time I want to do that, I'll drink some peroxide. <laughs> Oh no, 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 ma'am. No, no, no. no. Um, but, um, I know you had an incident with your son where he got a hold of, um, uh, some cleaning, some cleaning products. And that was the thing where you guys had to have him get them out of his system. 
So I know that you know that as the safety side of things. Yes. Um, Um, that was scary, but luckily, um, cause our, cause our mom is very health conscious. She had very organic, uh, she, bought, she you know, drives me nuts. She follows me around with the vacuum cleaner. It's, terrible. <laughs> it's horrible. I'm like, See, I, I think somebody, I think somebody should be following you around with a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, I'm like the human tornado. I know it. I, you are. I, go, cool. I get messages like, you see, you were here. <laughs> it's like, I leave my stamp, my mark. I'm like. Oh, well. Um, So what else with, um, what else do you have for like products? What do you, what do you. So do you remember this one? Um, Absolutely love this line. This line is amazing. How do you pronounce the name? Don't don't make me sound bad. This runs in the family as well. (laughs) Uh, <laughs> you know what? Um, we're, I get it because I think it's like qual or quell. Uh, when I posted the social media that you were coming on, I was like, you know, we're both going to do this and I don't really care, <laughs> but it's an amazing product line and it smells so good and it works fantastic. It absolutely it, does. It takes all the frizz out. Your hair looks absolutely wonderful. Um, then you've got me using that product probably what eight years ago. Yes, I worked for a manufacturing plant company that developed the rose version of the of the oil, and I got so many samples of so many things. But you know, if you have different hair, different hair types, it's too it's too thick for my hair, so I have to be very careful with the amount that I use. But they have a leave-in conditioner that is the bomb, and it smells amazing. So if you're not into fragrance and you don't like smell, this is not a product for you. Totally not a product for you. But if you like, you know, things that smell good and that are, and you need a lot of moisture, you have a lot of hair. This is the go-to product. Like Corey's hair, <laughs> way different from my hair. My hair is like thin, maybe too much bleach, but. You know, it is what it is, but you know, my hair is thin and hers is, um, a lot fuller and it's just, you know, different, shinier. So, um, maybe I should cut back on the bleach, but I'm not. Uh, I am about to start dying because my grays are starting to show. So I need to, uh... I shouldn't have told you that. I was like, when you did a close up, I was like, you know, you got a lot of grays, sis. There's been a lot of people that have been telling me about my gray hair here lately. I'm a little disappointed. Why? <laughs> yeah. Why? Why? Why not embrace it? I and that's my embrace whole thing. It. I, I think it's cool. Like wrinkles, so like gray hair. So. That's, the part of, that's the part of aging. Yeah, but you know it's so weird to be because everybody is so self conscious about these things. You know, you want to be on the best and newest diet and have the best of the products. Um, and and a lot of, and a lot of times things just work different for different people too. That's, and the hair oil is a great example of that one. If we were all built the same and somebody developed this one magical product, it would work for all of us, but there is no such thing as a magical product and things that work for you don't work for me. And we have the same genetics. We're, you know, we're in, I can't use the same hair care, but you know, I definitely need a lot more conditioning because I, you know, I like it blonde, <laughs> I like to be blonde. <laughs> and um, yeah, blondes, it's, blondes it's, do have more fun. <laughs> oh, do they? Mm-hmm. Um, totally. So just, <laughs> just kidding. I'm sure, um, you know, it's just we're just in different worlds. I'm in Florida. You're in Texas. So we're in different climates. We have everything's just different, different and it's in different industries and paths. And when you go to pick your products, you got to know yourself. You got to know your skin. You got to know your hair. You got to know who you're talking to. Are you talking to a salesperson that just wants to sell you a product? Or are you talking to a real person that wants to really give you good advice? So one thing I always do is I love Sephora. And what I do is I go in and I always ask the sales rep, what is the product that you recommend? And like top recommendation. Oh, there's my nephew. (laughs) He wants to be a star too. (laughs) But I always ask them what their recommendation is. And I always know if they're like selling me something, because if they're selling me something, they're going to bring me to the most expensive product in the store. And that's when I know. But then the ones that are genuine and recommend products to me, 
they're usually like 20 bucks, 30 bucks. And they're like, listen, this is the product. And I'm going to present those on the show as well. And it's just, it's really, it's really, so, it's like a learning experience. And like, I, I love Sephora. Like I got locked in Sephora one night where they, I was got in, locked in it. <laughs> yeah. The, the store apparently closed and the employees locked the door and they were walking around, they're getting ready to leave. And I'm like, yo, I'm in the perfume aisle. Like what the heck? And they're like, Oh, it's you. Like we thought, uh, okay, oh, good. You didn't have yeah. to stay overnight. Cause they would probably like wake it and walk in and you'd have like products. Oh my everywhere. God. I would like, look like Lady Gaga <laughs> for sure. I'd be like everything with the hair, the lips. And I'm like, you locked me in here. What's up? Man? Well, I'm in Sephora for the night. Watch what right. happens. My phone died. I couldn't call for help. Um, <laughs> you know how it roll, how it goes. Um, so yeah. Is there, oh man. Your gadgets, though, when I was at your house the last time, I could have almost like <laughs> fell over with oh, the. I can't wait! I, I can't wait to show you all of the workout ones I have. It's pretty funny. I have the one that that you don't. Have, it's just a, it's a total gym. You just stand there and you put it around your thighs, and it um, causes your muscles to spasm. I have that one too. Oh, and my. it's. But my thing is, is like, I put it on and I'm, I don't feel sore and they're like sweating and I'm like, it's some kind of muscle stimulation. And I went to one of the places where, you know, you put that all over your body and it stimulates your muscles and you put on this suit and you wet it and you work out and I'm, it shocks you at the same time. And I'm like, I don't know about this. Like, I, know, I, know. I mean, you're it's sweating. I'm sweating because I'm so nervous. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, it's shocking me every five seconds. Oh, yeah. Hi, Holden. Oh, Holden, he wants to be on the show, doesn't okay, he? Okay, we'll bring him on. We take. We, we, oh <laughs> man, look at that hair. Look at hi, hi, Holden. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, are you going to get woke, camera shy? He just woke up from his nap. Oh, well then. You know what the weirdest one for me is, is the cold therapy where they do the, the knife where you go into the cold tanks, you know, and it brings all your blood to the, um, to your core. Mm -hmm. Um, that one, the science behind it is absolutely absolutely amazing but i just can't get used to um to doing that like i walk in there and i'm like i don't know if i can do this again <laughs> well it's we all so know cool. if things want to work things have to be done consistently and that's right that's you know i always revert back to the old-fashioned diet and exercise all of these things are products because people develop products because they know the most hard, it, it's hard for people to show up in a gym every day. It's hard to uh, eat a, a straight, clean diet every day. So then you have somebody who's like, try my diet pill. Well, you know, um, if you want to go on a diet, you have to do it the hard way. And I, and I just, it's, it is what it is. There is no magical pill, pill, pill. <laughs> there is no magical pill out there, you know? And if there were, we would all be the weight and size that we wanted to be. And then there just isn't. So, you know, it's, 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 they're supplements. They're just helping. They're not like, you know, actually, do you want to tell us about your Velcro? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the, Velcro. That's the uh, <laughs> what I grew up with. Velcro. Ron Popel, Ron Popel, Popel, Ron Popel, the, the uh, pocket fisherman and the bamboo steamer and the uh, Gensu knives. That's what I was part of my life and uh, duct tape and Velcro for sure. Oh, I remember yeah, when I would ask, where's the TV remote? And you would be like, it's right there. And it's Velcro to the side. I'm like, that's so genius. <laughs> Anything he could Velcro, he would Velcro. I mean, he had his garage door opener Velcro to his motorcycle. My, my phone is Velcro. <laughs> my phone. I don't sell my motorcycle. So this, like, is, you're this, is a great, this is a great this is tip so by Velcro, right? You'll never lose your phone. I, you know, I love Velcro. I don't, I don't know if Velcro on a motorcycle is really exciting. Yeah, everything works. It, Velcro does it, does certain, Velcro really work on a motorcycle? It does. It holds your phone and holds everything <laughs> that you don't want to follow. Right. Yes. So for uh, everyone, uh, everyone listening that has a motorcycle and you want to hold on to your phone, make sure you use Velcro. <laughs> 
No. Oh, you, you, <laughs> they make you, they make things for that. No, they no. Make, make a certain men Velcro. You can get stronger Velcro for higher speed. So oh. always re, always remember that. This is great now, knowledge. The There's a type of Velcro, Velcro right? Because <laughs> the night there is a Hey, and he does. He tested it out too. I'm like, Dad, you can't post videos of you going 130 miles an hour down a regular road. <laughs> Hey. Well, the Velcro didn't come off. Put my butt Velcro so I won't fall out of the seat. <laughs> I've been to that other. It's like a seat belt. <laughs> oh, God. Love you, dear. Uh, yeah, I love you too, Dad. <laughs> Bye. Holden, Holden decided he was going to sit under the desk. Okay. Yeah. So, um, anything else you want to say about gadgets and stuff like that? Products? Going back oh, back on track, um, that was really cute with the Velcro. <laughs> yes. I didn't know my dad Velcros his ass to the seat of a motorcycle. <laughs> okay. Well anyway, on with the on with the show. Um back back on topic and Wait, I gotta I gotta tell one funny story about dad and his motorcycle. So I get a call from the bouncer um down this road by our house that has a couple of bars on it and they said your dad's going way too fast down this road there's pedestrians can you call him i mean i'm getting a call it like so so i call him and he said it wasn't me i promise then he posts a pic a video on facebook of speeding down this road i'm like <laughs> you know i can relate to this when i did gold rush rally and I was just new to it. And I would post photos and screenshot my dashboard of me going like 120 or however fast my Mini could go or Porsche at the time. And then I, I, I was wondering, like, why people were giving me, like, bad reviews. I couldn't understand it. I'm like, isn't it cool? It was actually really not cool to do that on the road. And I really grew up since then. Got a racing SECA racing license. I race on the a real rat race rat rat trap. <laughs> <laughs> racetrack. A racetrack. I race on a real racetrack where, you know, that's what people sign up for. But on the regular road, you have women, children and stuff like that. And it was a growing and learning experience for me. And to to know the difference now, I drive the speed limit because we know the reasons. But it's just it is what it is. And it's it's growing up and it's learning. And it's, it's the safe thing to do, though. I mean, my dad never grew up. And dad's like playing videos in the next room that we can hear. He's he's going, he's going, he's still going hard at 72. Good for him. I know. I'm like, man, I can't even keep up with him. I, I've, yeah, it's, it's really impressive, but yeah, good for him. Good for him. He's definitely, yeah, he told, um, has he's a lot of he stops, if he, he can't stop now, he'll die. That's what he told me. I'm like, uh, okay. No, he didn't. He, yes, he you did. know, he has a good, he has a good point though. You know, he, he mentioned that to me. He's like, this is who I am. This is how I am. I can't change my ways. Like that's, that, this is not going to work. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. <laughs> just, just roll with it. Roll with yeah, it. Just go go with it. Just yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 Rock star life. That's yeah. Definitely. That's we, we get a lot of funny traits from both of our parents. Oh yeah, little, for sure. No. One of the things we got was like buying things, buying gadgets, buying oh, products. I didn't even yeah. show you my newest gadget that I haven't tried yet. It's the oh. laser hair removal system that you can do. Oh, sorry. That you can do from home. I needed my phone a little higher. I'm, I'm okay. glad that I purchased I'll one of these devices and it cost me $400 and I could have got my whole body done somewhere professionally. And it was like this little tiny square. And I don't know. I don't think it worked. I guess. Okay. This one was $79. It was $79 for this one. Um, and I, I wanted the cooling technology because I, but again, you know, it, you never know. I don't know, but yeah, it probably is another gadget that's going to bust. We'll see. I hear some good. There was 30,000 reviews on this one. Okay. But, you know, that's that's one thing about marketing. And one thing about social media is that even now, the reviews cannot be real as well. They're not necessarily I just, right. Yeah. Isn't that sad? That like, you can't, so, you can't trust yeah. anything. And, I oh, and I'm so gullible. I believe everything everybody said. One time I bought, because you know when I was younger. Because 
we, what we say is the truth. What we, we wouldn't do that to somebody. So we believe everything everyone has to say, because what we say is real and true and from the heart. And you think that everyone else is saying the same same and it's, and that's just, you know, unfortunately how how it is is out there. It's just not how it is. I know it's it's like American greed. It's all about making money and sickening. It is. Yeah. But yeah, but no, I'm excited about your adventure and your podcast is absolutely amazing. And it's, and that my, my co-star over here, um, making some noise but um it's it's gonna be exciting that's my nephew come on give him give him a break (laughs) cut that dude a break you know what i'm shocked he didn't blow me a kiss this time he got shy i guess he saw the headphones (laughs) and he's like what is aunt Lacey doing not not gonna be a part of that (laughs) (laughs) yeah and and so finding things too that i have tons of gadgets that i bought for him at on the baby side of things that I still, still have a lot of these things, but, um, that would be another cool topic for us to kind of run sure, through or all that. We, we have like another 15 minutes, I believe, I think. Minutes. We have another 15 minutes. You can go ahead with those. There was one that I really, really appreciated. Oh my God. The one that suction, cup, the stroller. No, the, oh, bowl, the, the bowl that suction cup, the bowl to the table. So when we gave him his snacks, you know, the bowl and the snacks and go flying at your head, like that was <laughs> genius. Who came up with that? Like, God, you know, that, was awesome. yes. that is awesome. There's also a bowl now that's um, zero gravity, right? So no matter which way you turn it, the bowl flips topwards and you keep all of the, whatever you put in there stays inside the bowl. It's a, another really cool mama mama gadget that what? I just really love. Get out of town. We have that to see fun. this. Go get it. Go get it. You have time. You have time. Where are we? Where are we? Oh my God. You totally... All of my cool gadgets. Don't worry. This is just our our second show. We're going to edit, cut. I'm I'm growing and learning just as well as you are. So we can definitely in the future put something, you know, tight together because we're sisters like that. I have all my cool gadgets in my RV. No worries. No worries. Um, So I keep saying, um, I know like um and am is not what you want to say when you're speaking. (laughs) No. uh, Yeah, no. Vocabulary. I uh, took a speech class when I was uh, and going to school, getting my bachelor's, and uh, you lost a point for every time you said, um, and it really just kind of stuck in my head, and so it's really made me a better speaker because I'm like, I'm not losing another point. <laughs> um, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> I, have this, I have this way about me. My personality is I'm going to do what I want, <laughs> like do what I want when I want. But uh, yes. when you rehear I and you that. hear yourself and you hear yourself like say and and um, it kind of it, it's just it's just like one of those two words that you really want to delete when you're public speaking. It's like, eh, you know, like it's like and um, and um, so, <laughs> no. but they do do pregnant pauses. So did you say pregnant of, pauses? Pregnant that's pregnant? what it's called. And, and public speaking like pregnant. Yeah, like pregnant, like you're going to pregnant. Yeah, um, not, so, not this woman, but yes, keep rolling. <laughs> it's a long pause. So when you feel like you're you're starting to lo- lose your, your train of thought, you your, just... Your mojo? You just pause and take a deep breath and then regain yourself and keep going. And you can do that in the middle of a sentence. You can add some drama to it and do that pause. I mean, there's a lot of... There's a lot of little techniques that go along with it. I keep looking at this screen. I've got I've got you on this screen and I've got me on this screen, so it's kind of kind of bouncing back and forth. Well, you look good, any you know, you look great. So don't worry. I was I was very excited for you to come on the show and be like the second episode that I've ever done. And it's very, very it's so it's so so nice to have you sub- your support. Like I woke up this morning, like, okay, what do I do? I need to come back in with a new game plan. How do we get the podcasting together? And to know that I have my sister in my corner was like, fuck yeah, I got my family. (laughs) Oh, you're going to have to to have you on the show and do this with me. It's, it's just, it's sister love for sure. And yeah, I love you dearly. I love you too. And I'm so proud of you and all of your accomplishments, man. You're just, you're doing things that people just, 
they just don't do. And um, especially with public speaking, it's actually feared more than death. More than death. You know, oh, my no. first day in here, you know, it's I'll, I'll talk about it because I have I have a few more minutes, but I couldn't get out of the car. I was gripped onto the steering wheel and they're like, it's OK. And I came in and I talked a whopping eight minutes. <laughs> That's all. And I couldn't even really get the first sentences out. And, you know, luckily at here at Pod Populi, it was so Pod Populi. It's kind of like a little <laughs> it was so awesome because it's not about they get you through like the editing and the and the stuff that you can't do at home. But they actually helped me get over the anxiety of being on a microphone and we're just working through it. So it's 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 just a great experience to be here and learn and grow. And I think I'm going to let you go at that point, even though we have 10 more minutes. Yeah, I don't know how much longer Holden's going to let me not feed him. Nephew, he's ready. nephew. Holden, hey, Holden. Kisses. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, you're shy. He's, he's, he's not shy. He says public speaking is not for him either. Don't worry. We'll bring you to Pod <laughs> Populi and you'll be fine. <laughs> All right, sis. All right. I love you. I love you. Bye. Bye.